Hi, Quack. Welcome in. Don't worry about it, you know? At least you're here today, man. Welcome in. Hi, Kobobo. Welcome in. Guys, does audio sound fine? Like, like the background music compared to me talking. Is it fine? It does? Okay. Because I realized for certain, like, music comps that I use for background music, it's way too loud. <laughs> oh my god, hi, Woof! Welcome in. Did we get some more yo's? Okay, now this song is way too soft. Oh wait, it's fading. Okay, that's how it's meant to be. Yeah, it's way too soft now. I'll bump- okay, is this fine? I bumped it up a little bit. Is this fine? My god, game loaded BRB. Okay, keep the stream open though. <laughs> Happy Pride Month, yeah guys. Finally. Finally visible now? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys saw what they did to Target, right? Badge. <laughs> as soon as she clicks start streaming. <laughs> Thank you for the 11 month, Kobobo. Dude, that's so close to a year. It's wild to think that you've been here for that long, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, can we get some prime subs? Anyway, as soon as she clicks start stream, she'd be like, guys, I'm not gay. I was clickbaiting. That would be a really good bit. That would be a good bit. But I feel like that could like actually be a cancelable offense. Or like the people who tag LGBTQ and then they're not queer, I think that's bad. I think that's very bad. I really hope Mac and Crystal don't start that debate today. I should just like preemptively time them out. I don't know. It's giving middle school vibes, am I gay? That's what today is about, man. Hi, Kim. Um, give me like 30 more seconds because I need to finish my breakfast. Unless you guys want to see it. Do you want to see my breakfast? Type one. I have like three bites left. Um, while y'all are waiting, I have a new tweet. Go like it. I need more clout. Did you say breakfast? Well, I have like a little nibble, I have a little snack right when I wake up, and then I eat right before stream, so at like 10-ish. So it's kind of a breakfast. It's like 7? You're in the UK, bruv! I'm in the States. Okay, there's a huge difference. I made hamburger mac and cheese, so it's essentially mac and cheese, but with a marinara sauce base, and it's really good. It has beef and bacon. It's really good. Hamburger helper? It literally is at home hamburger helper. Helper. It's really good. I remember my mom would make me hamburger helper, but without the um 
without the hamburger meat. <laughs> so I'm like, Mom, Mom, can I have a hamburger helper? Because I like the flavor of the sauce. But then she wouldn't put any meat in it because we we're brokies. Okay, last bite. Isn't that just pasta? Yeah! Exactly. I mean, she would just make the the box mix, but not put any ground beef in it. I don't know. It's kind of silly. I just realized I've almost I've also been subbing for almost eleven months. Time flew. I know. It's because like my channel started popping off this time last year. Because like my analytics now. Not to be a numbers guy, it's very similar to the start of summer last year, so we might get a lot of new chatters because it's summertime, finally. We like new friends. <laughs> okay, we're okay. Before we get started, um, so go for today. Let's do 50. Can I be a, a no more brokey? Can I get 50 subs? Okay. Let's see. The plan for today, short stream, a quickie, you could say. It is Pride Month. It is officially June 1st. Birth. I'm very tired. It's officially June 1st, so you know what? We can all be who we are without any shame, right? Anyway. So, also, we have a new subscriber emote. Check the pin message in chat. We have... The side two pride enabled. I know some of you guys were wanting a pride emote last year, but I was stalling. It is officially out. Peace I do pride. I literally took it this morning. I was just like, peace I do love and then pride. Hi sinisters, well, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. A new sub emote, everybody. <laughs> Dude, my hair looks so bad in that. I was gonna paint my nails last night. What did I do yesterday? I need to stop looking at my OBS. I was gonna paint my nails like a rainbow yesterday, right? But then I watched Cutie Cinderella stream and then I went to sleep. <laughs> so and I didn't have time this morning because today was food prep day. I made my roommate some breakfast burritos. So that's what I did today. Oh, before we get started with the Am I Gay quizzes. A few updates? Could you say updates? Tomorrow, Friday, June 2nd, is National Donut Day. Apparently, the first Friday of June every year is National Donut Day. So, I will be decorating donuts on stream tomorrow. I woke up early to buy some. So, I went to my local, like, Safeway at, like, 7 o'clock, right? And they were already almost out of donuts. So, I just went early today just so I could scope out the scene. So tomorrow, I'm either gonna have to wake up at like literally 6 when they wake up, or when they wake up, when they open. Cause, if it's National Donut Day, you know they're gonna sell out quick. So it's either, I have to like, wake up at 6, get to the shop at like 6.10, and get some donuts. Or I have to buy like the mini ones. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see tomorrow, we'll see. Um, I did run a poll on Twitter. It is unanimous, so I will be decorating donuts on stream. Imagine! <laughs> Whenever I do these polls, it's obvious it's gonna be a yes. But even if it's a no, I'm still gonna do it, but I still think it's funny to run the polls. Because, like, it's funny to see, like, the one shitter who says no. But we had a unanimous this time, so yay. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I just- I just wanted to share this real quick. I posted this this morning. Oh, is it doing it? Oh, it is. Okay. Let me read this out loud, out loud for the audio listeners. Um, tweet from this morning. <clears throat> at 6.51 a.m. Yes, you. I woke up early. <laughs> um, Rainbow emoji. Happy Pride Month. I am happy and proud to have helped create a space where we can joke around and also be respectful towards all who fall under the queer umbrella. I hope. I know I feel fully comfortable to express myself here and in my stream, so thank you all. Love emoji. I don't know, I, I wanted to, like, write this and not sound, like, too, like, what? You know, when they're like, ooh, my community is so accepting of the gays. I did, I, I was trying, I was trying. Hi, Aslane, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Rare Aslane appearance. 
Welcome in. Um, and then... <laughs> I remember... Wait, I'm trying to think. Because I... I always kind of knew I was queer. I mean, we'll find out today when we take the quizzes. But I... I didn't, like... Well, I didn't become, like, out-out until, like, after high school. Because, like, you know when you're in school and you don't want to be, like, the one or two, like, gay kids in school? Because you don't know how people will react. I live in Washington State. It's fairly progressive. But you still never know, right? So, I remember a year after I graduated. Because I graduated 17. So, like, June 2018. I <laughs> I put, like, the three hearts in my bio. And then I had, like, the, the bisexual color overlay on my PFP. But I was- I would always, like, disable that PFP whenever Pride Month is over. So I just- I'm not doing a rainbow chrome PFP. It's performative. I'm not doing it. I'm not part of the woke mob, okay? <laughs> so, normal PFP for this month. Unless, maybe I should do a rainbow chrome. Should I? I don't know. I don't know. So, <laughs> I remember <laughs> the second year I was out, like, I changed my PFP. I put in the- it was an old IG post. I think I've deleted it. Guys, follow my IG. But it was me, like a selfie, and then the bisexual color overlay. And then in the caption, I said, Two years of being out and no GF. <laughs> so this is a little throwback. Hi, hacker. Happy gay month? No, it's happy pride month. Get it right. Don't you say the M word today either. But hi, hacker. Can we get some yo's? Oh wait, should I put something on? Wait, I, I have a I have a way gayer fit. Oh I'm wearing my Oh dude look at this. I'm wearing my Teddy Fresh pants today, which I think is literally the gayest thing I own. But I'm gonna get my denim jacket. Teddy Fresh owned by Street. Yeah. But you know, their their clothes is queer coded, okay? This is my cut off denim jacket that I stole from my mother. I just took a shower before stream, so. Okay, everybody. It is Pride Month. So it's time for me to see if I actually am... <laughs> I can't. If I actually am part of the queer community. Also, um, I'm gonna be using the term gay, I guess, interchangeably. I know I myself identify as she, her. I am... What's it called? What's it called when you align with your pronouns you got at birth? I know what it's called. I know what it is, guys. I'm not an ally. Peace. This is your mother. I've been waiting for you to admit that you stole my jacket. Slash J. Uh-oh. Imagine? Dude, that's my biggest fear. Sis. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm cisgender. There we go. Thank you. Um, is it cis? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I forgot. I literally- I kept on thinking heteronormative, but I was like, no, that's not the right word. Anyway, I am she, her, cisgender, female. Um, I currently identify as bisexual. You know, I like the girlies and the boys, but I like- I think about it sometimes. And, because to me, there are like romantic and then also physical attraction to like most anybody. So, like, if any time, like, an NB came into the picture, I'd be down. So, like, I think at my core, I probably should identify as Pan. But it's kind of one of those things where, you know, if you're queer... Guys, um, type 1 in chat if you're queer. Hi, Mac. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Um, I think it's just a lot easier to say that I'm bi than Pan. Because I feel like... Like, the definition of pan is so complex that, like, the normies don't, like, get it. Like, most people know, like, gay or lesbian. Most people know bisexual. But, like, all the other, like, um, not as well-known identities. It's kind of harder to, like, I remember when I came out to my mom, she's like, 
dude okay the first thing the first thing um my mom said to me when i came out because i remember we were sorting out cherry pits this is about a year and a half ago and she was like why do you know so much about queer or she's like why do you know so much about like queer issues and i'm like <laughs> i was like smile <laughs> and then i was like um I was like, Mom, I guess I'm technically bisexual. And she's like, oh. And then she got quiet for a bit. And we were, like, just sorting cherry pits in, in, like, silence for an hour. And then we were sitting inside, like, getting a snack. And then she asked me. The first, like, question she asked me. She's like, does that mean you like threesomes? And I was like, oh, no. I was like, oh, no. Um, and then I explained to her why that's not appropriate to ask at all. <laughs> Like, that's, like, the worst thing you can ask. Because I think a lot of people equate um, queer and gender identities just to, like, intimacy or sexuality. But it's so much more than that. Um, just because you, like, want to smash somebody doesn't mean you can't, like, love them. So I think that's something that's very easily misconstrued by people who aren't necessarily in the community or just learning. So, you know... Yeah, queer used to be a derogatory term, but I feel like it's not necessarily... I think it's one of those words that you kind of, like, take ownership again. Because to me, I use queer as, like, a general umbrella term. Because not everybody can fit into, like, the LGBTQIA. There's so much, like, in-betweens, and I think it's a lot more, like accommodating to refer to somebody as queer if they don't express their identity from the start um yeah okay anything else yeah so that's my story anyway let's see if i'm actually gay <laughs> ain't no way Thank you for the tier one, TJ. Can we get some Ouija's? Ouija, Ouija boards? Thank you. It's been a while since we've seen you, TJ, but thank you for the tier one. Thank you. <laughs> WJ. <laughs> Wait, Wall Street Journal. Oh, I was gonna say, I was trying to make a joke. I was trying to make a joke. Um, That moat is massive. What? Be nice. <laughs> oh wait, new alerts! I got new alerts today. I, I literally set them up right before stream. Because I try to change all my alerts every month. Okay. Watch the quiz say you're straight? That's what I'm scared of! Am I a fake gay? Okay. Anyway, last thing I'll say before we get started. I use... I will refer to myself as gay because I think it's funnier. One, and also just like a lot easier. Like I, I goof and gaff, but like... I know for me, I feel like I have the ability to, like, love or care for any gender, but I still think it's, like, uh, <laughs> uh, how do I say this? It's not that, like, I hate all men, but, you know, I just think the idea of a woman is, like, so much more pleasant than a guy, you know? But it is fine. It's Pride Month, everybody. Okay, I've been stalling long enough. Let's get the party started. Am I actually queer? I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. I should not be scared, but I'm so scared. <laughs> oh wait, chatters. A big fear that I have is getting hate rated. That's why we're in 10 minute chat. We have to be extra careful this month because since I do have um, LGBTQ tag, we gotta be careful. So if we have any shitheads come in, you guys know what to do. Let's do the command so you guys know the drill. If anybody comes in, ignore them. Me, I will handle it, okay? Do not engage. We'll just go and sub only chat if we have any shitters, okay? Got it? Know the drill? Worst case, just close the tab. No, I mean like... I have an incognito mode enabled, so I should be fine. But, um, it, I was, like, skimming through some of the quizzes and some of the questions, like, I will not be reading out loud. So, 
But I'll, I'll still like quietly answer them. So VOD watchers, um, just watch the screen. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. Also, I would like to say I've never questioned my identity in terms of gender. Um, I, I think about that sometimes because I remember I was talking to I think Cutie Lee last year about it, and we were talking about pronouns just randomly, and she was like, "You go by she/her, right?" I'm like, "Yeah," but I'm like, honestly, don't give a fuck, like. Any time that I've been misgendered, I've only been misgendered twice, and it was both at work. Because I would, I used to work in food, so I had to have my hair like tied up in a very tight bun. So if you're looking at me from the front, you wouldn't see my hair. Um, and I never wear makeup, so like... I don't think I look masked. I don't know. But like, any time that I was misgendered, I just don't give a fuck. Like, I'm very confident in my own identity. It is also like, I've never struggled with it, so... That is something I might be blind to. But I'll still try my best to, like, listen and hear other perspectives. Because, you know, I got some queer friends. I have some NBN trans friends, so... Listen to your friends and your family. Okay, am I gay? <laughs> Let's get started. Um, so to find these quizzes, this is incognito mode. Um... I literally just googled <laughs> gay quizzes, but I forgot a Z. You know, we're bad at spelling. <laughs> um, if there are any ads on the site, I'm hashtag not sponsored, okay? This is hashtag not an ad. So, everybody at home, feel free to answer along. Are you gay? I have, let's see, I have uh, four quizzes lined up. It's probably gonna take like two hours, but we'll see. No! If you are not gay, you're banned from the chat. Have one if you're not gay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I would also like to say, I'm not like the stereotypical, like, flamboyant or like super extra gay, okay? I'm not... I'm not the theater kid type. <laughs> Passing the quiz. <laughs> Goodbye forever then- No! <laughs> no, you can stay. No, just put ally in your tag, Sinister. <laughs> okay. From BuzzFeed, tagged LGBTQ, quiz, WTF, and LOL. Good luck passing this 31-question test if you are gay. <laughs> Written by two men. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, I'm gonna be so bad at this. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, like, really bad at pop culture shit. Like, I'm really bad. Oh no, guys, I'm fake, I'm a fraud. Okay, what movie is this blurry screen cap from? The First Wives Club, Divine Secrets of the Ya Ya Sisterhood. Waiting to Exhale or Sister Act 2. I... First, you always go- Oh, joking, I was gonna say you always go with A, but I was actually right, I'm clueless. Who are these women? Oh, Pussycat Dolls. I love- I love all their pop-off songs. Yes, easy. Okay, which Carly Rae Jepsen album will gay people never shut up about? Okay, which cover looks the most gay? <laughs> Dude, when this VOD gets uploaded to YouTube, it's gonna be instant demonetized by how many times I say gay. Okay, let's see. I think emotion. <laughs> yes! <laughs> She's wearing the sweater. Okay. <laughs> okay, which coffee is more gay? Hot or iced? I think iced. <laughs> I, I get an iced coffee every time. I can't handle hot coffee. It burns my little tongue. Who is this? I don't... Who Megalol? Um, always go with A. Oh my god! Why is every answer A? I'm literally trolling. It's Stacy Orico. <laughs> this is such a stupid meme. The bisexual sitting, but it's literally me. Um, I was reading this one thing. Um, where like if you sit with like your legs open, or like when you're laying down, you have your like your legs spread out. It's an issue with your hips. But guys, my spine is fucked up. Also, my brain is too big, so it makes sense that I sit funny. Um, which of the following people is most likely not gay? The businessman. <laughs> Who 
Wait, what? Which of these people is most likely gay? Because they're crossing their legs? Finish this line. Lady Gaga is Italian or Greek? Always go with A. I don't- I don't know. Okay, which Wikipedia section would a gay person go to first? Personal life, because we love drama. Okay, which of the following is not a gay superpower? <laughs> I can't. These are all just cliches, but they're all so true. Okay, walking fast. Telepathic communication with other gays. Being on time. Being the favorite amongst your aunts. Tweeting. <laughs> Making memes about drinking iced coffee. Okay, it's being on time. We're always late. I'm never late, though. I'm always on time. I will be honest. I'm never late. Which video game character is a gay person most likely to pick? Where's Birdo? Birdo needs to be an option. She's now in Mario Kart. Um... Oh, shit. But it's- it's- I think Peach is the obvious answer. It could be Bowser. It's Peach. Yeah. <laughs> what? Pick the gay in parentheses going through it. Um, this person looks more straight, so they look like they're in denial, so they're going through it. No! Okay, which movie did Tyra Banks famously dance with a bottle of ketchup? But always go with A. Damn it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know older movies. <laughs> what kind of bread did gay people bake the most in quarantine? Sourdough. Oh, what? Banana, ciabatta, or zucchini? Zucchini. Fuck! <laughs> it's banana. I mean, both both A and C are kind of phallic, let's be honest. Moving on. Do you know- Um, yes, I do. <laughs> I've never used the service. Although I've gotten very close. You know, I love Alinity. Okay. Who are these people? What? I don't know. What? I'm not saying that. Okay, Britney Spears famously said that she is... B? No, it's A. <laughs> Which aisle did gay people get lost in growing up? The candle aisle or the underwear aisle? Candles. No! God. Okay, if you were to put the following songs on at a party, which would not make gay people scream? Scream. Which would not make us happy? We hate Ed Sheeran. Oh my god, I was right! I was trolling! Okay. Which Ariana Grande song is a gay cult classic? The Way. No! I don't- I don't know much of her songs. I'll be honest. I'm a fake fan. Grinder's primarily, uh, I don't know. I'm not gay. Okay, which cocktail is sometimes called gay water? I don't drink. Always go with A. What name comes to mind when you see this hat? Joanne, Brenda, or Gladys? Always go with A? I was right! <laughs> Who is this queen of pop? What? I, I, I literally don't- I don't keep up with celebrity stuff. I'm not that type of gay. Always go with A. Which way would a gay set his phone on the table? Oh wait, okay, face up or face down? Face up? I don't get it, I don't get this one. I always put mine face up because I like to look at the screen. <laughs> Sorry, just the questions are like jokes on their own and it's so good. 
Okay, if Google Maps said it would take 20 minutes to walk somewhere, how long would it take a gay person to get there? Um, like, two hours. Okay, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh wait, the joke is that we walk fast. 15 minutes. <laughs> no, it w this will take me- how long is it? This will take me like 40 minutes, because I'm disabled. Okay. You know, I can play three cards this month. Minority, disabled, and gay card. Trifecta. Okay. What are Mariah Carey fans known as? Lambs. Okay, I feel like I subconsciously knew that, but I wasn't sure. Which feature do gays like most on Instagram? Stories, fr close friends, filters, and location tags. Location tags, because- Fuck! <laughs> because they're always trying to smash! <laughs> what do you think of when you hear So Emotional by Whitney Houston? Meme? Oh, I don't know. Please tell me you know who this is. I don't. Oh, I don't. And lastly, this quiz is a hey, really not that serious and obviously all gay people are very different. And we get it. You're not that kind of gay. Yeah, I'm not. Now go and complain about not liking pop music, never watching Drag Race and hating gay bars somewhere else. Stop. Stop. It's calling me out. Or see above. But uh, it's a... Wait, what does this mean? <laughs> I got 18 out of 31 correct. I scored 52% better than other quiz takers. You are 100% gay and or a woke stream. <laughs> Congrats, you really do know your gay culture. Oh no, guys, I'm a fraud. Remove the LGBTQ tag. I'm a fraud. Okay, that one was stupid. I hated that one. This one? <clears throat> okay. There's so many ads. Ignore the ads. I'm hashtag non sponsored. This quiz is called, Am I Gay or Bi? This is for me. I, I'm confident in my identity. I know that I like men and women and people in between. Um, but we're going to see for real. You know what else we're going to see? Some new follows. Because everybody, we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Did we get some new follows today? Okay, or bye. This quiz was made in 2021. 20,000 people have taken it. Oh no. Okay, this is the intro from the creator. <clears throat> As a queer person who has often questioned my sexuality, I thought I would create a quiz to help if you're questioning. I'm also more than happy to answer any questions about what sexuality might be or offer advice if you want to comment and ask. I've never made a quiz before, but hopefully the comments work. Yes, if you're Googling, am I gay or am I bi, the answer is probably yes. Haha, <laughs> straight people don't wonder that constantly. <laughs> also, in the quiz, I say other gender, opposite gender. Uh, this isn't to imply that there are only two genders. It's just for the ease of quiz takers who are less familiar with the LGBTQ community. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, this is a more serious one. We hate streamers. Support the writer strike. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Question one. How many am I gay quizzes have you taken? I've taken a few. I was never the kid in like middle school or high school to take the quiz. I didn't even jokingly take a quiz. I always just kind of knew. I only like... Did I, did I do this last year? I can't remember if I took the quizzes last year. I don't think I did. I think I said it'd be too silly. <laughs> but no, I've only taken a few. Okay. Have you ever felt that- Why is it scrolling up? I, have you ever felt that you really wanted to be friends with somebody of the same gender, but did not know why? I think, like, when I was, like, really, really young, like, elementary. Kind of, I guess? I don't know. I always kind of- Because, like, in elementary- No, in, like, middle school to high school, I always had two crushes every year. I had a crush on a girl and a crush on a guy. So... I always kind of knew, and 
I think when I was little, little, like I was friends with the boy, bro, boys and girls, so. I don't know. I would, I would say kind of. But looking back, all of my like crushes and or majority of my crushes in school were like people that I was friends with. Cause like I very much have to be like emotionally attracted to somebody. Okay. When watching TV or reading books, do you always really root for attractive people of the same gender? No, I just root for people based on whether they're good or not. Yes, I do. Or now that I think about it, yes. But I also root for attractive people of the opposite gender. Does root for mean like they get the grill at the end? I d yeah, I don't look at attraction. Because like when I watch movies, I don't, I've never been like, oh, that's, that actor is so hot or they're so pretty. I'm, I'm not like that. Like I very much like appreciate the substance of their character. You know, I'm an artist. Um, would you ever consider kissing somebody of the same gender? Absolutely not. That seems really gross. I did not say that the quiz did. Yes, but not people of the other gender. Or yes, and perhaps people of the other gender too. Yeah, so yes, I'm bi. Yes. Next question. Do you ever find yourself- oh, stop, it's scrolling. I hate this. Do you ever find yourself greatly admiring the voice, looks, or personality of people the same gender? Dude, a lot of these answers are just like, are you straight, bi, or gay? And I'm always gonna choose the bi ones. Yes, and the other gender too. No, and if I do, I'm 100% sure that I'm not jealous. Yes, I do. Yes, and the other gender too. Have you- stop, it's, it auto-scrolls because the ads need to load. This is so dumb. Okay, have you ever questioned your sexuality before, even a little bit? It's not that I've questioned it. Because, like, to me, when, when I hear the question, have you questioned it? It's like, do, does it mean that did you doubt it? And I've never, like, doubted it. I've never been, like, ashamed. But I've, I've definitely kept it on the down low for the most part. I do have my- wait, I'll show you guys. I do have my- my Zoomies jacket. <clears throat> so it has like... This pinstripe on it. And it's nice because it, it's warm. And it also has zippers on the pockets, and I've never been, like, shamed to wear it. I'm not scared or anything. You know, I love Washington. <laughs> so, like, the only time in which I questioned it was when I was kind of, like, figuring out, I guess, the word in which to identify myself. Because when I was, like, finally figuring it out, like, I always knew that I liked both girls and boys, right? In, like, school. But I just didn't know the word for it. Because growing up, we had, like, a lesbian couple who lived across the street from us. So, like, I would see them, like, hanging out and being cute. So, it's like, I wasn't too sheltered in that sense. So, like, I knew that there was, like, gay people and then straight people. But I didn't know, like, bisexuality was, like, real. Or there was a, a word for it. But I think that's the only time I've I've questioned it, I guess. So yes, I, I have. <laughs> Do you ever listen to Girl in Red? No. I know that's the meme, but I've never like sat and listened to it. When commercials that sexualize people the same gender, are you... Or how are you... How do you react? I don't... I don't care. I don't get like... I don't get horned up watching commercials. I think it's cause like I'm artsy, so like... Seeing... Um, how do I say this? <laughs> Like, seeing, like, nudity or anatomy or, like, close-ups of body shots, I don't... 
I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Like, I'm not squirming in my seat. It's just, like, normal for me. I don't care. Because, like, I, I need to, like... Like, I'll go out about it, like, oh, that person's cute. But I'm not, like... I'm not in my head being like, oh, I want to smash. I don't find it weird. I don't I don't get weirded out by those commercials. I don't I don't care. All these make it seem like those commercials are bad. We love body positivity. I'll do the first one. I don't know, that was a weird question. Hi Kimari, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Welcome in, hun. Okay, have you ever had any semblance of a crush on someone of the same gender? <laughs> it's possible! <laughs> Possibly. I've definitely felt this for people of the opposite gender, but I also had slight feelings for the same gender that could have been a crush. Yeah, I literally just said I had, like, a girl and boy crush every year, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Answer about thinking. What do you feel you might be? <gasps> I could be bi, but I'm not sure. I'm definitely straight. Or I could be gay, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm bi. <laughs> I'm either like bi or pan. I'm like in between, probably. Results? You're most likely bi. Ain't no way. Bi people are attracted to genders similar to and different from their own. That's wonderful because it means that you have more options of whom to date. Okay, just because I have more options does not mean you're more successful, okay? It's been six years and I still don't have a GF yet. Uh, you can now choose to only share your opposite gender interests if you're not ready to come out yet. Just a little tip. Straight people don't lie awake at night wondering if they're straight. <laughs> they don't obsessively take am I gay quizzes. They also are almost repulsed by the idea of dating somebody of the same gender. So the chances are that since you took this quiz, you're most likely not straight. Remember that you're valid and love. Maybe you should look at cuffing your jeans more often. Shut up! That... The only reason I have to cuff my jeans is because I'm short. I'm 5'2", but I have a 42 waist. So I have to cuff. Okay, th this one was fun. This one was like... Kind of silly. Kind of silly. Wait, should we do... <laughs> I kind of want to do predictions. <laughs> Can we do predictions for like... Because you know how the first quiz said I wasn't really gay? But this one says I'm bi? Should we do predictions for, like, will I get the desired result? Okay, two more. Speedrunning. <laughs> Am I gay quiz? 100% reliable test. Updated February 24th this year. 15 questions. Okay, so this one has... Um... I'm not gonna read out loud all the questions, so this is gonna be a visual quiz for some of them, okay? Just because it has, like, words that I don't want to say. Um, I'll read the little intro. <laughs> Am I gay quiz? With a lot of commotion and news being circulated regarding gender identity and the crisis surrounding it. What, did a libertarian write this? Many people have started questioning their orientation themselves. One of the most common questions among young men is, Am I gay? Our quiz will dispel- Wait, is this- Is this not for me? <laughs> okay, why do you need to take up the Am I Gay quiz? Google being the mother god of, for all the questions in the world, may have turned up to, many have turned up to Google to find out what it is their exact orientation. Women want to know whether they are lesbians and men want to know if they are gay. In many countries around the world, there has been a social stigma attached to gender. A man is designated for women and vice versa, but while brushing through the records of history, one can find that there is an attraction in all means and turns between people of the same gender itself. Taking mental health into consideration, many men have started questioning if they're interested in dating women or men and taking up the Am I Gay quiz. Um, yeah. It's because in America, we live in a very heteronormative society. Like, if you look at, um, some, like, indigenous tribes, if you look at some, um, in other foreign countries, their expression of identity isn't male or female. There's a lot of in-between. It's because America grew up with very, um, religious, or not religious, like, Christian values. So it's kind of like, it's hard to get past that. 
not stigma, but kind of like underlying impact because that was what was used to form our legislation. Okay, hints and experiences predicting gay behavior. <laughs> Everyone has to be very clear when it comes to defining sexual orientation. One can take up some of the recommendations and hints to find some experiences provided below to self-introspect and figure out their orientation. High school crush. Your high school crush defines your exact level of physical and sexual attraction towards the gender. If you're a man and feel more attracted to another man when you're in high school more than having a girl crush, you might need to rethink your orientation. Okay, I'm not reading that one. <laughs> Cheating a girl. What? This is crazy! If ever in your life you had cheated on a girl for another man, then it surely indicates that you have some extreme level of attraction towards the man more than what you have for the girl. This is one of those sure shot signs! <laughs> okay, however, it is recommended to consult a psychologist or a renowned psychiatrist to elaborate on your past experiences and try to fortify your orientation. What? <laughs> So if you cheat, you're gay. <laughs> Wait, is this quiz not for girlies? What is this? I feel like this quiz is for like the emotionally immature men. Who are just in denial. Means of coping with rejection. If ever a girl has rejected you in your life and you have felt better while connected with a man, more than just emotional space, <gasps> The need to ponder about your orientation. What rejection could entice you to get together with another man physically? There are chances of you being gay. <laughs> Checking out other men? If you're a man and have a girlfriend, you check out other women while you're with her, then it's not a big deal. But if you find yourself checking out other women when other men... When you are with your girl, then do it, think it over again. Uh, one of the fun parts... Um, I dated a guy a few years ago, and he knew I was bi. I came out to him before we dated. So whenever we'd like be walking around town, he'd be like, what do you think of that girl? What do you think of that guy? <laughs> it was kind of fun. Cause like we'd be walking through like the park and we would pass, like walk past a girl and he's like, oh, that girl was super hot. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Good looking women don't attract you. When you don't find your hormones getting excited when you spot a beautiful woman, then you need to check if you get attracted at very high levels when you see a man. If you get excited about seeing him romantically and sexually, then there are chances that you are gay. Okay, intercourse with a girlfriend doesn't excite you. Even when it comes to the wildest adventures with a girlfriend doesn't excite you, an image of another man shirtless or a naked photo excites you to the core, then there are chances that you might be gay. Dude, uh, I don't I understand why people feel like they need to pursue heteronormative relationships when they are queer, but I think ultimately you still need to prioritize your safety and your happiness. Like if you're in a situation to where you can't, where you are safe and are able to express yourself or be able to have a queer partner, it's like why not live that life, you know? Nobody gives a fuck about like you individually unless it's your friends or your family so as long as you know that those individuals will respect you then i say go for it nobody online cares nobody in public cares really so just go for it okay let's start i feel like this quiz is for the guys <laughs> oh i hate this question am i emo quiz <laughs> okay have you ever had a girlfriend no, I've never had a GF. How would you react if your best friend confessed love to you? Well, that would be awkward because my best friend is the guy I dated, so that would be awkward. <laughs> um, no, let's, okay, listen to this area if a, if a grill confessed to me. I would laugh at them. I would say no. I'd tell them I feel the same. Or I would try to gently tell them that I don't feel like that I don't feel what they do. When, oh, whenever it says he, because apparently this quiz is for guys, but we're gonna do it through my POV. I would say no. <laughs> no, you cannot love me. I would laugh. I would honestly, if any of my friends confessed to me, I would cry. 
because I know how much of like an emotional weight that is. So I would I would literally cry. I would try to gently tell them that I don't feel like they do. That's that's like the mature thing to do. Did you play with toys for girls when you were a child? Um, let's do this through my POV. Did I ever play with boy toys? Besides your father's. Okay. Not really. I don't think I did. I had Barbies. I had Polly Pockets. No, I don't think I ever had boy toys. What kind of company do you prefer? Company of women? <laughs> of men? It depends on the situation or my mood. The company of both. I don't care. Because, like, in order for me to, like, want to hang out with somebody... Like, I have to know them. But, like, if I'm in public, I'm not, like... I'm a lot, like, nicer to women. Not because I'm gay. <laughs> but because, like... I feel like it's so much... Like, in my opinion, as a girly, like, it's so much easier to approach a woman. Like, I don't walk up to people. But, like, if I'm in line at the checkout, like, sometimes I'll make a conversation with the person working. Or... Um... If I have to ask somebody for help, I'm more likely to approach a woman than a guy. But that's because I have trauma with men. Continue. If you saw two men kissing... <laughs> um... I would find it cute, of course. <laughs> what would you do if a boy kissed you? <gasps> okay, this is if a grill kissed me. I mean, if they did it randomly, I, w I would be shocked. I don't know. Have you been or are you in love with a woman? So in my opinion, with a man, yeah. Wait, what are- why are these- there's no yes answer. Is love not real? Huh? I was gonna say, I don't know, maybe. What? Oh, do you ever have... <laughs> do you ever have dreams about women? Uh, it's happened a few times. <laughs> what do you think about men? I think they're cool. Whenever I say the word beautiful, I use it, like, sometimes gender neutral. Because to me, beauty is not necessarily feminine. To me, beauty is like an unexplainable attraction. I don't like the word handsome. I don't like it. Is anyone in your immediate family homosexual? I don't know. <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> I, was gonna, I don't know. If they are, they would have to tell me. And if they did, I wouldn't share. Because that's not my... That's not my thing to tell. Have you ever tried on men's clothes? Yeah. It was a joke. It was out of curiosity. I felt pretty in them, or I've never done. I'll say out of curiosity, because like sometimes I feel like some like men's clothing, they have like really nice cuts in like the actual shape of the shirt or the pant. I know my sister wears men's jeans because the pockets are bigger, so it's easier for her at work. Because she has to carry, like, tools and pens and shit. If you met a beautiful man on the beach, what do you feel? <laughs> I don't feel anything. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I mean, I would stare, so I guess interest. I stare at- when I go in public, I stare at people all the time. Um, And I don't do it to be rude. I just like looking at people. Because when you have, like, an artistic lens, you kind of, like... I like to notice little things about people, like the way their nose is shaped, like how their eye crinkles is really interesting to me. I don't know. Do you pay special attention to your external appearance? Oh, uh, I care a little bit. Okay, dress and appearance are important, but not over the top. Yeah. I'm not gonna look like a total scrub. What kind of 
movies do you prefer? Comedies, thrillers, documentaries, romantic comedies, action, or horror? I like rom-coms. I'm a sucker for shoujo, okay? Oh my god! Trigger warning, what the fuck? According to you, a homosexual is a sick person, a normal person, or I have no opinion. Dude, self-reporting it for your homophobe, Jesus Christ. They're normal. Queer people are normal. It's... Jesus Christ. Enter your email to view your results? That's fucking stupid. Dumb quiz. I hate that. You know what else I hate? Running ads. Because everybody, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. We do have the new emote, Peace I Do Pride. So if you wanted to put it into chat, all you need to do, to do is subscribe. Dude, that quiz was dumb. The last question was literally, are you a homophobe? Jeez. Peace I Do Pride. <laughs> Okay, we got one quiz left. Also, chatters. If anybody has... Oh, sorry. I got an email, and it was from... I thought it was from Shopify, and I got scared, but I'm fine. It was a different email. Anyway. Chatters, I want to find a queer dating sim that is playable on the Switch that I can beat within eight hours. So if any of you little internet slews want to find me a game to play, um, find it and then tell me in chat. Because there's a bunch of, like, games on Steam, but there's not a lot on Switch. Because I can't really do PC gaming for stream. I wish I could. If I had... Hmm. I don't know. I have to figure it out. Okay, final quiz. Monster Prom? I've already watched a playthrough of it, though. That is a good suggestion, though. So thank you. It would have to be a game that I haven't played. As al I've also played um, Dream Daddy on my own. And I watched, like, full playthroughs of it. <laughs> so I, didn't, I already know the lore of Dream Daddy. Okay, final quiz, final quiz. The Am I Gay quiz from Friday Trivia. <clears throat> we are living in an age where more often than not, each individual has a right to their own freedom. Unfortunately, people that act differently than what is standardized are often frowned upon. It is still uncomfortable for most homosexual people to express their views publicly. Our Am I Gay quiz will help you find out more about yourself. The quiz simply determines if one is gay or not, and what is and it is the most accurate test of 2022. The quiz simply determines if one is gay or not in- Oh. I, re I already read that line. If you think you might be asexual or bisexual, we have a sexuality quiz for you. Oh, wait. I'll do that one next. Okay. How gay am I, test? <laughs> there are different stages to everything. <laughs> and the same is true for homosexuality. That's why many often wonder about how gay they are. Well, wonder no more. With our test, we will find out how gay we're on a scale of 1 to 100. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, let's do a prediction. <laughs> this one uh, actually has a scoring system. How will I score? This is a. Do you think I'll get a hundred percent? Okay, wait. Let me get the overlay. Wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. There it is. Overlay is on screen. Two point six and fifty one. Oh no! Can we get some doubters? 
I mean, I technically am bisexual, so I could get like a, a straight 50-50. Okay, our specialty curated questions will, uh, will allow you to take a deep dive into your sexuality and provide you with an answer. It's crucial that you remain truthful to get the most accurate result. No lying. No portion, no lying. Society's view. Currently, the world is moving at an extremely high pace. In the last 100 years, we had women receive their rights for the first time. It is well to think about how short ago that actually was. Yeah. America. When talking about homosexuality, it was a taboo topic just 20 years ago. Today, people are so much more open about individuals' thoughts and decisions. Sadly, there are still places that discussing your sexuality is not welcomed. Currently, there are only 29 countries around around the world that allows same-sex marriage. America is not going to allow it soon, because we hate Republicans. No, because the Republicans hate us. Um, furthermore, a dozen more countries recognize it as a civil union. And compared to these numbers, the fact that there are 33 countries preventing same-sex marriage constitutionally is soul-crushing. Um, we know. If we look back at the past, homosexuality was nothing unusual. Ancient Greeks didn't distinguish sexuality by the person's gender. Nowadays, people of religion complain that it's not the way that God wanted it. The notion that homosexuality is based on genetics hasn't been proven by scientists yet. I've always thought about that. Because, like... Genetic means that it passes on to your, your kin, right? So if you're queer, does... Not as many couples are able to conceive, right? It's either they, they get one. It, there are processes in which you can get... Um, fertilization from both from both parents but is it genetic i don't know hi Jacob. welcome in can we get some yo's <laughs> yeah this is the one time where it's not offensive to say your name jacob <laughs> welcome in man Okay, the current understanding is that a combination of biological and environmental factors. Furthermore, it is developed at a very young age. Many men find it hard to experiment with their sexuality and remain unhappy throughout their lives. Wait, I'm a woman. I'm allowed to be gay this month. July 1st? We all need to shut up, though. We're no longer allowed to exist in July. Yeah. I'm joking. Slash J. <laughs> Clippers, I'm joking. Self-discovery. Discovering something about yourself that others do not approve can be very scary, but don't be. It is perfectly normal to be attracted to the same gender. Growing up in a family that rejects persons' beliefs and looks at everyone the way and looks at everyone the way they want to is especially tough. Our MIT quiz will do its best to determine whether you are gay or not. Do note though that this is not a professional evaluation. It will only look at the common signs and make a decision based on that. Secondly, there are no tests that are foolproof, so take that with a grain of salt. When coming out of the closet, you should be comfortable with your decision. Before doing so, test the waters first and ask the person closest to you what do they think about gay people. If their reaction is negative, how sure are you that they will accept you for how you are? On the other hand, they might be accepting and you'll have, to, and you'll have someone you can trust. Of course, that whole process shouldn't be there, especially for your loved ones. They should accept you no matter what. If only it were that easy. No matter what path you take, be honest with yourself. Each person is a hero in their own story. The protagonist energy. <laughs> Just because someone says you as a boy have to like girls, it doesn't mean it has to be that way. Experiment with your sexuality and surround yourself with people that care about you. They are important for your growth and support. Exactly. Support. Sadly, many people still dislike anything other than heterosexuality. You might be in a family that is firmly against it. Furthermore, you might be confused and scared. This is when you need all. This is when you will need support of your peers the most. There are numerous LGBTQ groups that are always looking for new members. Another good way of connecting with others is during the LGBTQ Plus Pride Month. Oh my god! That occurs in June every year right now, guys. Are we gay? Type 1. <laughs> we are supportive gay? Type 1. Okay, let's start the quiz. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever fantasized about someone... Of the same gender, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Have you ever stared at someone cute or beautiful of your gender? Yeah, I like looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. When you see a beautiful couple walking by, who do you notice first? 
Honestly, I look at the girl first. Because <laughs> she's usually cuter. Have you ever kissed a grill? I do it sometimes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I noticed the gamers. <laughs> Um, no, I have- no, I have not. I- I have yet to get a GF. One day! How would people describe you? Okay, chatter. Silver types first in chat. We'll pick the answer. Strong. Helpful. Funny. Chill. Crazy. Or polite. Chatters, what- how would you describe me? This- this is how you answer it. Am I strong, helpful, funny, chill, crazy, or polite? Strong? Okay. I was gonna say funny, but I guess not. Oh my god, high lemon, rare lemon siding. Can we get some yo's? Hi, lemon. <laughs> okay. Um, if you could choose a perfect partner for a romantic date, who would they be? I don't care as long as they're hot. Person of my gender, person of the opposite gender, or who cares? Let's just drink. Oh, okay. I'm on my incel arc. So when I have little daydreams, who do I think of? I don't have like a. I don't know. I don't know. Because, like, I feel like I know how to... <laughs> I know how to riz, I know how to flirt. I want to say, I don't care as long as they're hot. Because they're all your mothers. That's all I fantasize about. If you were to choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? Traveling? Hiking? Working out? Playing video games? Or being on the beach? Guys, I'm a streamer. I play video games all day. Your last intimate relationship was with opposite gender. <laughs> Never! No, I had a boyfriend. What type of music do you listen to? Pop, rock, jazz, hip hop, or heavy metal? I like pop a lot. If you could choose, where would you live? Ooh! Japan, United States, UK, France, Australia, or Germany? The UK is transphobic. Come to Spain. I was gonna say, Sp I've always wanted to visit Spain. Ignore these options. <laughs> A, B, C, D, G, fill in the blank. I don't, I would, I would stay in the States. Because there's so much xenophobia in most any other country. Like, a lot of people characterize America as being really racist, but... A lot of other foreign countries are extremely xenophobic, especially to, like, foreigners. So, I would choose to stay in the States. Washington is where it's at. If your friend would come out, what would be your reaction? Oh, interesting. I would support them. I'd be more open to expressing my thoughts. I would stop talking to them. Or all my friends are straight. <laughs> okay, D is a- you're huffing copium. You have to have one gay friend. Um, I'd be more open to expressing my thoughts. I think similar to like when you have like queer friends or when you have POC friends, I feel like if you have that lived experience yourself, I feel like you understand each other's struggle and I feel like it's so much easier to empathize and become closer with them like immediately. Like, if I meet somebody new, and I find out they're queer early on, I feel like so much more attached to them. Because I understand the lived experience to an extent of what they've gone through. <laughs> if you pick D, you're likely the gay friend. <laughs> True. Um, I would say I would support them, obviously. That would be the first thing I would do. I would be like, you're gay, me too. What is that? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, hi, Nyx. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi, Nyx.
Okay. Do you feel comfortable when you're alone? Yeah, I'm an introvert. I don't know what these are. They're not toys. So it's fine. But it, I'm like, what are those? Anyway. Anyway. Do you feel attracted to the same gender? Yeah. Women are cool. What are your hobbies? Watching Netflix? Playing a sport? Shopping? Traveling? Reading? Or sleeping? I'll be honest, I love shopping. <laughs> I'll be honest. I just like looking at things. Because when I look at products in the store, I think about like the actual physical thing. Along with all the time and work and like design that goes into making a product. And I, I just have so much more appreciation for it now. So I like shopping. If anybody wants my negative $4.13, I want it. Give it a... <laughs> Do you feel comfort? Do you feel comfort when in presence of a homosexual person? Yeah, we love the gays. <laughs> do you have an active lifestyle? No, I'm a streamer. It's an obvious no. I'm trying to fix it though. My sister did buy me a stationary bike. It's coming in this weekend. What is your opinion about Pride Month? Uh-oh. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say what I think. I support it. I think it's D-U-M. I take part in it. Or what is Pride Month? Okay, I would say I supported it. I support it or I take part in it. I think if you say you support it, then you're an ally. That's an ally answer, right? I'd want to say I take part in it. I've never been to a pride parade, though. <laughs> As, have others ever confused you with the homosexual? <laughs> they look... Chatters, I'll ask you guys again. This stream is appropriate for this question. Do I look... Queer, type 1. Be honest. In all the time, Chatters, that you've known me or seen me online, do I look queer coded i don't think i do no i'm i'm like look at me objectively like looking at me like if you saw me on the street would you be like hey that one is queer no you guys are capping you guys are lying you're making me feel good oh shit oh, oh. <laughs> I just like clicked on the ad. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I look queer coded. What is this gun ad? We hate guns. It's hard for me to tell when girls are queer. I know, dude. It's so hard. I told you a story of when I worked at Subway. There were these two Starbucks girls that came in because they worked at the Starbucks down the road from me. And I had a little like mini crush on both of them because they were both kind of like queer coded, right? And I was like, I remember one day I was like, I was mustering up the courage to like ask for one of their numbers, right? Um, and then one day, because they would always come in at different times of the day. So I thought they were just like, oh, the normal workers. And then one day it was a weekend. They came in together. And as they were ordering their sandwiches, they were like, kind of like, going like this with their hands. And I was like, I was like, you guys can hold hands. Cute, go ahead. But they were together. So I was right. My gaydar was correct, but they were smashing, so. Can't really squeeze in there. Okay. Have you ever been confused? Have others ever confused you with a homosexual? I'm open about my sexuality, so if they don't listen to me, then they're DUM. Ooh. Which word resonates with you the most? Power. Love. Success. Friendship. Fame. 
for freedom. Friendship? I don't know. Who knows you the best? Your mom? Your best friend? Your partner? Your dad? Or nobody knows me? Oh, my best friend. <laughs> um. How do you feel when you see the person of the same sex uh, naked? Uh, B. <laughs> Have you ever joined an online LGBTQ community? <laughs> I am disgusted. Disgusting. <laughs> Stop. Twitch staff, we're kidding! We have LGBTQ attacked. Um, peace I do pride. <laughs> peace I do pride, everybody. Clear the chat. Does this Twitch chat count? I think so. I feel like most of my chatters are queer. Like, joking, not joking. <laughs> it should! <laughs> Guys, if I ever get clouded enough, we can become a real community. I would say, for this question, I would not count my Twitch chat. Because I did not join this, I created this. There's a difference. If looking at the Yuri on Ice Tumblr tags in high school counts, then yes. But otherwise, no. Does it tell you how gauge your viewers on in Twitch stats? No, I don't have access to that information. So, no. The most I would know is if I ever, like, ran a poll in chat. And that would be, like, voluntary answers. Did you ever avoid watching a movie or a TV show because you knew they feature a homosexual relationship? This is why I did not watch the Buzz Lightyear movie. I saw the screenshots and I was like, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just, I didn't have the chance to see it in theaters. I did kind of want to see it, though. Oh, interesting. Yes, no, or I did because I didn't want my friends to think I'm weird. You know, I'd be looking at the BL tag all the time. Moving on. I refuse to watch Heartstopper. Does that count? Not really. I read some of the Heartstopper um, comic, and it's fine. It's just like a normal queer story. Which of these fruits do you like the most? Banana, peach, watermelon, strawberry, grapes, or orangey? I like peaches. No, I love watermelon. Watermelon's the best. Twitch chat, you silly. Okay, the best relationship is um, intimate, romantic, or platonic. No, I'm not. I'm not choosing A. I'm not a little slut. <laughs> um. Hmm. Peace out, too. Hmm. I agree, Kimari. It. I feel like any relationship, like a where you're, com like when you're in a committed partnership, there has to be a balance between like attraction, in this case, sexuality, and then romantic, right? romance i think attraction and then also like the honeymoon phase if there was an because when i think platonic i think like emotional intimacy like being vulnerable and i think that is very important i'm gonna say platonic okay let's see let's see my game my game my game Yeah. 
you are gay. I just determined that you were gay. Go out there and be yourself. Wait, didn't they say I would get a score of 100? Okay, well, I... I guess if I'm gay, then that's like 100%, right? We didn't have any doubters anyway, so... <laughs> the best relationship is between me and my Nintendo Switch! Who... Why is... Sorry, the Nixon message got auto modded. <laughs> but Twitch staff, it's fine, it's fine. And Nix, as long as you give me your prime, I'll forgive you. Okay, last quiz. Last quiz. This is sexuality quiz. 100% honest test to determine your orientation. As I said earlier, I identify as bisexual, but if I if we came down to the nitty gritty, I'd probably identify as pan. But I just I don't have the I haven't had the opportunity to like Smash an NB yet, so I, I don't know. Okay. Ever since humanity came into existence, there are many questions and emotions when it comes to sexuality. With time and exploration, we have unearthed the secrets of sexuality. The secrets? What What is it that I don't know? I need to know. However, despite being the 21st century... Talking about sen sexuality is still considered to be taboo. We have evolved as humans and have started talking about thousands of topics that were once used to be hushed to silence. Why are we still uncomfortable in discussing a why are we still uncomfortable about discussing our sexuality? If you're confused about your sexuality, this quiz is for you. This quiz will answer any questions you might have related to your sexuality. We have curated all possible questions that people would want to ask themselves. By the end of our sexuality quiz, we assure you'll be able to identify and understand your sexuality better than you ever did. Okay, let's go over the different types. Different types of sexualities. Most people are confused when it comes to determining their gender identity. Especially at puberty, young people struggle with figuring out their sexual orientation. Exploring may not always be an option, and no one wants to be alone. That is why our sexuality test is one of the best ways to discover your sexuality. There are different types of sexual orientations. Read and learn what you relate to the most. Okay, so I'm looking at the, the graphic. And then gender, queer, and intersex aren't sexualities. Those are identities. That's a different thing. Because sexuality is like if you want who you want to smash, but identity is different. Yeah. Okay, heterosexuality. This is the most common. Heterosexuals are attracted to people of the opposite sex. Homosexuality. They are sexually attracted to people of the same sex and have an emotional attraction towards same-sex people. Oh yeah, you're right. Trans also is the one. You're right. Why? What? I did. I didn't see that at the start. And why are they mixing in? Oh, they don't. Okay, they aren't listening. It down here. Okay, a bisexual person can get physically and emotionally attracted to people of both sexes. Both men and women can be bisexual. Androgen sexual. They am they admire androgynous people or people who have both male and female features. They admire. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Now, I know people clown on us all the time for having too many flags, but some of these like some of these aren't even like they're just like you're. Oh, no. Maybe I've gotten old, but some of them are just silly. Okay, homosexual. They reject sexuality labels and do not identify with them. They determine their sexuality on their own. Dude, if you try to explain homosexual to a normie, it'll break their brain. They'll literally just tell you, pick one! So I don't know if that one's, like, helpful. Okay, demisexual. A little more complex. Demisexuals are attracted sexually to people only when they have a strong emotional bond with them. That's not what I experienced, but I have to, like, like, like someone before I can smash. Okay. 
Pansexuals look beyond gender and sexual orientation labels. They look beyond the bipolar gender division and fall in love with a human being regardless of gender or orientation. See, for this quiz, I think I'm either going to get bi or pan. Because I would identify as pan, but I, I haven't had the chance. And also with like intimacy, there's things that people like. And I don't know if I would like certain things is the best way to put it. Asexuality. Asexuals are people who lack any sexual attraction to any gender or sexuality. They make it emotional or mental attraction, but they do not feel sexual attraction. Okay, why down here they have all these listed, but they don't... The graphic is bad. They should not have included the gender, queer, intersex, or transgender in this graphic. That's bad. Okay, start the quiz. Okay, 20 questions. Let's do another prediction. <laughs> okay guys prediction these are my two this is how i think the quiz will answer everybody go gamble how do you think i will score do you think i'll score by or pan because i'm gonna i have they said i have to answer honestly so i don't know also if you're new here follow the channel you get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat um can we get some more followers today what if it's gay? No, I still like men, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I like Jensen Ackles. <laughs> okay. A member of the opposite sex expresses their feelings towards you. How do you react? <gasps> Finally, a grill? I tell them that I'm not interested. I arrange a date. I try to get to know them better before dating, or I tell them that I'm not attracted to them. Oh, I, I would try to get to know them better. I, I have to nobody s know somebody before I try to smash. But arranging a date is kind of similar to that. But I, I would have to be friends with somebody before I can date them, honestly. Why is there so many points in pan? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Have I, have I been lying to myself this whole time? Okay. How do you feel when someone of the same sex being affectionate with another? I don't care about it. I'm disgusted by PDA. I would prefer if they keep their sexuality behind closed doors. Or I admire their strength to display their sexuality in public. I love seeing people hold hands. It's adorable. I honestly never get crushes until I've been their friend before. I get that. But I think once you're older, like in your 20s, like how I am, you'll kind of like, it'll sink in. Because when you're in like school, whether it be like high school or college, it's a very structured environment. So you see the same people every day. Um, but once you're like out and about, like hanging out with strangers and stuff, I think that's what it'll like sink in. And that's when you like fully understand the world around you and also you'll learn more more about yourself too. I sadly get crushes on every man who looks at me. You know, and that's fine. Some of us are like that. I think there is something cute about having like crushes all the time or dating all the time. It's kind of like that person wants to be loved or like they want to give their love to others and I think that's really cute. Okay, are you comfortable being physically close with members of the same sex? I feel a bit uneasy. I don't care about their gender at all. Of course I am or I'm not sure. Yeah, I love grills. <laughs> what is your biggest fear? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Being alone, not being success, not being successful. Guys, I'm a streamer. I'm already a failure. Failing at school, I've already done that. <laughs> Speaking in front of an audience or spiders. Uh, I get very lonely, and I hate when I'm lonely. So I'm gonna say dying alone.
Have you ever had fantasies involving women? Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. I fantasize only about my partner. Wait, pause. Okay. So when I was dating that guy, I literally had no interest in anybody else. It was weird. I think it's because, like, I have a very obsessive personality with certain things. So if I ever were to date somebody again, they would literally be all I ever think about. Because I'm a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is assuming I have a GF, which I don't. So I'll say occasionally. What type of music do you listen to? Pop. It's the same question from earlier. Are you interested in exploring same-sex relationships? Um, yes, but not at the moment. I'm on my incel arc still. I don't know if they're gonna date me for my clout! Tea or coffee? Uh, coffee. Iced coffee, to be exact. Ooh, when looking at the group of friends... Ooh, it's calling me out. Who are you usually attracted to? When looking at a group of friends, assuming that I know everybody... Hmm... I would need to get to know them before becoming attracted to them. I think that's the best way to describe it for me because... Like... Because to me, any relationship, there needs to be some semblance of trust. And like, I don't know if they're like a bad person. Just because they're cute doesn't mean they're not a good person. Like, I have to know they're a good person before like, I let them into my life. I have trust issues. How often do you lie to people? All the time! I mean, I have to lie on stream sometimes. I can't leak shit, so yeah, I have to lie all the time. Oopsie! Do you ever find yourself attracted to members of the same sex? Yeah. Duh! I have LGBTQ tag. What are your hobbies? Shopping. I love lying on the internet. I mean, I kind of have to. Like, if I didn't have to, I would be more truthful. Like... I have friends who have, like, fully anonymous social media accounts, and they just say whatever they want. Not that they're saying bad things, but they have, like, no fear of, like, getting leaked. And that, that's kind of nice. Like, looking back, I would have never put my name online. Right now, only my first name is public. Um, but even then, you, you guys can't say the M word anymore. It's not allowed. Do you feel comfortable talking about your sexuality with friends and family? Ooh. With friends and family... Yeah? With friends, yeah, because I joke all the time. But with some family, I am comfortable with talking about it. So yeah. Do you feel comfortable when alone? Yeah, I'm an introvert. But that doesn't mean I want to die alone. If you could do anything... If you could choose anything to do for a day, what would it be? Um, playing video games, because I'm a streamer. Do you experience sexual attraction? Okay, yes all the time. No, I'm not an addict. <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm able to be attracted to somebody without knowing them, but I'm not gonna act on it. So, like, all from B, C, D, and E would be correct. I, I would say E. Not that I'm an addict, but that's just the best answer. What is your favorite way to start the day? Good morning, Texture Mirror Crush! I wish... I don't drink coffee in the morning because caffeine is a drug. It's worse than heroin. 
slash J slash S R S. Um, eating a healthy breakfast. I I have a very small breakfast now. Oversleeping or watching Netflix. I can't sleep in anymore. Even on days where I can't sleep in, I still wake up at six. It's annoying. I don't watch Netflix. If if I can switch out watching Netflix for Twitch, that's what I do. I spend a lot of time watching YouTube and Twitch and stuff. Ooh, who was your ideal partner? Okay, member of the same sex, opposite sex, either is fine. It has to be someone who I have a deep emotional connection with. I'm not sure. I don't want a partner. Okay. It has to be someone I have an emotional connection with. Because, like, for me, a relationship, whether it be short-term or long-term, you still have to, like, know the person. Because in order for a relationship to work, you have to respect the other person. And, like, know them, right? And if you don't know them, then the relationship will deteriorate over time. So, it has to be somebody I'm connected with. But granted, that connection will not happen right away. It's going to take, like, months to build that relationship. Like, you're not going to be, like, trauma dumping on the first date. That's not what a connection is. Who knows you your best? Who knows you the best? My best friend. I'll be. A lot of these are repeat questions. Ooh. <laughs> How would you feel if your best friend came out as bi? Uncomfortable. Happy because they shared it with me. Or neutral. It wouldn't matter to me. No, I would be happy. Because that would be good news. God damn it. <laughs> okay. I got bisexual. You are a bisexual. A bisexual person can get physically and emotionally attracted to people of both sexes. Both men and women can be bisexual. That's it. I thought... Because, like, a lot of the um, questions were, like, emotional attraction. Which is what I thought I was going to get. But I didn't. Damn. How will I score? I got by. Sorry, pan believers. Damn. 12,000 points in pan? Man, you guys were brazen, weren't you? Jeez. Man, Lemon, did you get all those points? Oh, went to Potato too. Nice. Damn. Damn. The person who put in 5k? Yeah, Kubova always gambles big and never wins. I think y'all are not good at this gambling stuff. Did you participate too, Sinisters? I can't see who did. <laughs> see, I was just debating you guys this whole time. I was baiting the doubters. Okay, everybody, it is official. I took the quizzes. I took the quizzes. Let's find it. I'm officially um, bisexual pride, everybody. Bisexual pride. My nose is so itchy. I can't. Okay. I have spent an hour and a half taking the Am I Gay quizzes, and it is confirmed. It is real. I am part of the queer community! Let's go! Like I said earlier, I think, like, at my core, I probably am, am pan. But at this point in my life, I think bisexual is easier. But you know what? Identity and sexuality is fluid, so don't feel like you need to label yourself right now, you know? The volume is also low for you. Oh. Uh oh. You mean like the background music? I, I do have it lowered a bit today. The high potato, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? <laughs> wow, the quiz was right! <laughs> but yeah, did you guys have fun? That was a little bit fun. A little silly, goofy stream today. Um, chat us, chat us. Um, we can wrap it up here for today. Short stream, because I have homework. Oh, you have my stream turned up. Excuse me. Okay, I thought, like, my stream was bad. I was like, uh-oh. Monk and W. Okay, everybody. Let's wrap up stream. Yeah, I only have one month of school left, everybody. Then I'm finally free! Okay, so... 
If you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. If you've been watching the stream even for a little bit, follow. Might as well. It's free. Um, we're gonna do calligraphy, so anybody who donates to the channel or uses their channel points will get their name written. So we have two Oilers today. So let's go ahead and get the calligraphy journal set up. I'm also going to get a hairband. You're done with school? Let's go! Does that mean we're gonna see you more in chat? Lemon is one of my favorite chatters, I'll be honest. Because whenever I edit back VODs, I will see chat messages that I've missed. And Lemon usually has some bangers. You're starting college classes soon? Oh, that's great, man. I accidentally chose the time slot that merged into stream. Fake fan. Come on. I'll just change your schedule next semester. Easy. Dude, my left arm has been so sore. Wow! Look at that. It just drop out. No. No! Don't listen to Lemon. Don't listen to Lemon. Don't listen to them. Okay, y'all know the drill. If you want me to write your name, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel. Also, gentle reminder, if you gifted five subs last month, I need your picture. I need a picture from Kim. Kim, if you're watching, I need your picture. I'll do cards on Monday, probably. You, you can see the mic. Yeah, looking back for college, I wish I would have done in person. I feel like I would have worked harder. But the convenience of online was kind of necessary for me at the time. Okay, so chatters, the plan for tomorrow is, since tomorrow is National Donut Day, I will be doing donut decorating. We might be live in the Meg Esports kitchen tomorrow. And then this weekend, I'm probably going to be busy. The next stream will probably, for sure, be tomorrow. And then probably Monday or Tuesday. Because since my classes are winding down and summer is starting, I'm going to try and stream four days a week here. That is my goal. Thank you for redeeming, Wolf. <laughs> when will Chicken Nugget stream be? I will do that stream when we don't have food in the house. Because, like, I hate doing the cooking streams when we have, like, food prepped. And every time that I was wanting to do the chicken nugget stream, like, my roommates would bring home food. So it's kind of like, I'm not going to make more food if they already have their own food to eat. I hate throwing shit away. It makes me feel very sad. <laughs> Elle and roomies? That's what I've been saying.
You all like different dipping sauces? Yeah, I usually go with honey mustard. My sister likes sometimes ranch if they have like a garlic. She prefers garlic. And then my other roommate likes whatever. None of us really like barbecue, though. Also, Chatters, gentle reminder. If you have time to do so and you enjoy making clips, whoever makes the best clips during any calendar month gets a $25 Twitch gift card. And even if your videos or if your clips don't make it into the best of monthly compilation, I still might use the clip for a regular YouTube video. So even if you clip random shit, if you think it's funny, it might get into a video. I appreciate all the clippers. So thank you. Because I, I said this early this week, but I literally watched back every single clip that has been made on my channel for the past year and a half. Because I'm going to be working on editing them into like shorts, or not shorts, regular like landscape clip videos for YouTube. So everybody. Subscribe to my clip YouTube channel. It's Peace in 17 Clips on YouTube. I post the same clips you see on TikTok. And I'm going to be posting more videos there soon in the summer as well. Of clips that you may not have seen if you're a new viewer or if you're an OG fan, it might be moments that could be from when you first started watching. Okay, four from the top, four in between. Let's see, we had Kobobo. Oh, this purple's dead. So close to three sunflowers. I know. One more month in July. I, did you first? Because you started following before you chatted for a long time. Oh, it says you've been following since June 22, Kobobo. So that means even before you started chatting, you just got gifted subs every month. You fraud? It's not fair. Once again, thank you, Kobobo, for the 11 month resub. I appreciate it. Very close to the one year badge.
Oh, I just realized there was a shadow. Oopsie. TJ for the four month resub. I appreciate it, Hunter. Regular tier one. Let's go. Hey, chatters, that was our last name of the day. So, last call. If you want my rich name, all you need to do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. You can also see if you have a Prime sub available. It is totally free to subscribe with Prime, everybody. Then you can use the new PSA2 Pride emote. Oh no. Stop the music. Thank you, Potato, for redeeming. I'll do it after I sing a song. It's been a while since I've sung. I do know which song I want to sing, though. I've been contemplating. So everybody, let's let's sing a song. If you don't know, I can sing. You can use your channel points and make me sing a song. I have a playlist on that I put in chat from YouTube. A gauge song? No. This one is gonna be a good one. I'm going to sing the final bridge in Chlorine by 21 Pilots. I ha I don't listen to the song often. It came and recommended the other day, and it's so pretty. Okay. Guys, ready? If you could... Put your favorite animated, your favorite hype moments in the chat. You can put Peace I Do Pride if you want. You guys ready? <laughs> Why are you doing VOD? You want VOD channel? There you go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna stand back a little because I usually bolt it. <clears throat> I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so sorry I forgot you. It's over. It's done. Ah, uh, there's a, a really nice reverb version of the song, and it's so pretty. I've been like the hands of the weathered flame. It's so pretty. Thank you, chatters. I love seeing emotes in chat. Back to Calligraphy! Thank you for redeeming, Cold Bubble. I need poop butter and... Shameless plug? Wait, what do you mean by that? Do you mean... Promoting peace and art on myshopify.com where you can get your favorite streamer's personal artwork that she hand-painted herself? Ain't no way, and there are two rainbow pieces for Pride Month? 
Wowie, use code TWITCH10. Print $10 off your purchase today. Oh, I need to update the coupon code at the top. Everybody, exclamation shop and chat. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just explore the website. It would be great. But thank you. Also, next painting drop will be mid-June. And I will be doing another giveaway. He said to gasp. So chatters, if you want to enter the giveaway for the painting, make sure you're saving your channel points, because I'm going to do it on Twitch again. Because I don't have enough clout on IG yet to do an IG giveaway. What happened to draft the tweet? Well, I just ran out of funny drafts. So. Oopsie. Also, when I had it available, not many people redeemed it anyway, so it's kind of silly. It cost so much. 15,000? Oh, wait, it was 50,000, right? No, it was like 25,000. But I had some really crazy drafts, so of course I would not want to post them. Sacrifice yourself redemption for Pride Month? No! That is not for Pride Month. No. No. <laughs> That's for a cult of the lamb, you silly. Yeah, for the Twitter trap, I think Issa and then Hacker would redeem them semi-regularly, but then... It's kind of like when you have a gimmick available for too long, it gets old. That's why, like, not a lot of you guys redeem Sing a Song anymore, because it's kind of like, oh, this isn't- this is old news. I know what's gonna happen when I do this redemption. Okay, chatters, that was our last name for the day. Last call. If you want me to write your name, all you need to do is use your channel points or donate to the channel. Double check if you have a Prime available. If you don't give your Prime sub to me, that's a hate crime. I'll say it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys to clock in. Everybody clock in if you haven't already. Okay, y'all got five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. Oh my god, Hassan just went live. Perfect timing. <laughs> oh my god, Alinity's unbanned, finally. How do I clock out? No, you stay here forever. That's how it works. You know the drill. Okay, everybody. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any Chatters Lurkers, thank you all for hanging out today during the start of June, the start of Ride Month, everybody. We're going to be doing queer content all month. I'm kidding. It's, it'll be a normal last month. Don't worry. You don't have to close the tab when your mom walks in the room, so you're fine. Um, I will be going live tomorrow because tomorrow is National Donut Day, so I'll be decorating donuts for Chatters tomorrow. And then... Plan for next week. Next week is going to be a normal week. If you haven't sent me portrait sketch cards, pictures, I need them by Sunday. Because I'll probably do that on Monday. Before I go, if everybody could politely make sure you are following my channel. And if you are following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. And if you are a real peace in underscore 17 fan, you would follow my offline social media. I read Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all three. 
right now. You know, gotta do the plugs and the shills. Um, I had fun today. We got to do a little bit of goofing, a little bit of gaffing. I said gay like a million times, but you know, it's, it's fine. It's, it's Pride Month. Okay. Thank you guys. Genuinely, it's fun. It was a lot of fun today. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye! Bye-bye! He said you pride. YouTube is almost at 1k. I know, my clips channel is so close. I'm like right there. It's in grasp. It's right there. Bye, Lemon. Thank you for hanging out today. Also, Lemon, since school is out, doesn't mean you get to spend all day on Twitch, okay? Go touch some grass, too. I'm glad to see you again, Lemon. Your presence was missed. <laughs> Bye, whoa. That's adorable. Last time I came in, I accidentally passed out again. <laughs> I always appreciate your stream. Happy Pride Month. Thank you, hon. Thank you, whoa. Whoa, once school gets out, you better be clipping again. You need to get back to work. We can't have Gobobo win Best Clipper every month. Get on it. Bye, Kimori. Thank you for hanging out today, man. It's a pleasure as always. Mod Chat Crystal? Big fan. <laughs> Nah, it's okay. I don't expect people to watch every stream. I do think it's, like, psychotic. Because, like... I've seen clips of, like, small streamers being like, Ooh, you know, my mods don't watch every stream. Or my regular viewers don't watch every stream. And I get really sad when I have, like, less viewers than normal. But it's like, bitch, if you make every stream enjoyable, then people are gonna want to watch regularly. Like, if every stream is gonna be boring as fuck, then oopsie, that's your fault. And, like, it's not like you're paying your viewers to be there. It's not like your mods are getting paid, so they don't have to show up. Like, shut the fuck up and make decent stream content. Like, guys, am I a good streamer type 1? <laughs> if I see a single 2, I'm ending stream. <laughs> That's why, like, I don't grill chatters or, like, give them shit. If we don't see them every time, but... You know, I, I appreciate the time when people do have the time to chat. I can't believe I used to have the time to watch all your VODs. Yeah, that was wild, too. Because <laughs> you would make clips from every VOD, and it's, like, kind of cute. I'm like, oh, Real fan. Yeah, when I was in high school, I didn't have a lot of free time. Because, like, I used to volunteer for three hours. So I would go straight from school. It would take me like 15 minutes to walk from school to the volunteer place. So I would volunteer from like 3 to 6. And then it would take me 30 minutes to walk home. So I wouldn't get home to 6.30. But then I'd have to have dinner. And then uh, I had barely any time to do anything. So that's why like, I hate how colleges expect you to have like a club or a sport. On top of like all your homework. Especially if you're like an AP kid. It's insane. College is less time than high school? I know! That's why like... I, I don't know why they like are so hard on high schoolers. Like, it's genuinely hard. Okay, anyway, I've been rambling too much. Bye! I'll see you guys tomorrow with donuts. Bye-bye. Happy Pride Month. Peace out to Pride!